Good evening. Uh, we present the news summary. The National Assembly's uh, session for this week have been uh, suspended. The decision follows the discovery of a fungal infestation in the attic above the Assembly's technical control room. The clerk to the National Assembly, Tanya Isaac, uh, says a comprehensive assessment of the situation is now underway. Well, we had to, put, uh, to suspend the sitting of the National Assembly this week because we um, di discovered um, a fungal um, infestation in one of our, our unit. Actually, it's the media operations unit. It is the unit where all the proceedings of the National Assembly is, is recorded and transmitted. So we had to vacate the staff in that unit. And uh, this morning, uh, a few experts came on the premises uh, to investigate the situation. And so far, uh, we found that uh, the infestation is in the ceiling of uh, the unit, which has also um, dispersed uh, throughout the building. And uh, we are hoping that uh, with everything uh, being um, fixed, being cleaned, thoroughly cleaned, we can resume sitting next week. The outgoing Indian High Commissioner to Seychelles, General Dalbi Singh Suhag, has paid his final courtesy call on President Wivel Ramkalawan at State House. He was accompanied by the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Sylvester Radugon. The Indian High Commissioner was accredit accredited to Seychelles in June 2019. He says that the bilateral relations between the two countries have flourished over the years, resulting in a dynamic cooperation program in numerous sectors. The High Commissioner also called on Vice President Ahmed Afif. Firstly, uh, as I always say, Seychelles is a beautiful country, and I say it's a paradise on earth. Uh, the people are very, very warm, and it has been a wonderful experience being here in this wonderful country. Uh, also, uh, when I came here, we, we decided to, to give a uh, push to the development projects, and we started this high-impact community development projects. And before COVID came in, I got just about seven, eight, eight, nine months, and in that eight, nine months, we were able to do 22 projects which were completed. And you are aware, the 12 were inaugurated by me, and uh, 10 were inaugurated last year in, on 8th April by the Honorable uh, President and Honorable Prime Minister of India. Uh, when I came in, one project which was pending was the uh, Magistrate Court building, which had not yet taken off by then. And uh, within a few months that were there before COVID, and even during COVID we continued, and within 14 months, we got that project completed and I think August 2020 it was occupied and started functioning. Students from the Montfleury Secondary School have learned about the different professions over the past two days through a career fair held at the school as part of activities for Careers Week. More than 10 organizations participated in the fair with leaflets, equipment and products to showcase different career the students can take up in the future. The Ag aquaculture, police force and teaching were three areas that pulled in a huge crowd. The students say that the fair have been helpful. They have gathered information useful to make better decisions in the future. Cultural performance uh, was organized last night to showcase what Seychelles will come up with in France later in the month. The cultural performance took place at Club Med Seychelles on Setan. The show in France has been organized through an invitation from UNESCO after Seychelles Mutia was inscribed on their list of, for, for intangible cultural her heritage in December last year. The group of Seychellois going to France is the same who participated in the expo that took place in Dubai. The group lives on the 19th of June. This was the news summary. Thank you for your attention.